here is uh, we have some of the new David Honnold tools um, for the strobits out there. Um, we've got the Traveler 8 softbox, which um, I actually just found out. I didn't know it did that it did, but it does come with uh, a speed strap. So you don't have to buy another one for it. It's going to have one with it. Um, if you don't have any Honnold tools, then even better, you're in luck. Um, it's going to come with a speed strap. That is, of course, if you don't um, Velcro your flashes already, which uh, here's a, an SB900. Um, so I'm going to put the speed strap on. So the speed strap is on, and then all you have to do is open the soft box, attach the front diffuser, and then take this, and attach it like that. So now, the flash is got a soft box. Um, the other thing, the other product that is brand new, is this flash roll-up, which I've yet to uh, fill up, but I'll show you how it is. Um, it's got this big Velcro strap around the um, outside to keep it closed. When you open it up, unroll it, it's quite long. And if you look, you'll see it's actually got the mesh in it to add some durability. It's got the Velcro, so you can actually Velcro your um, uh, gels to the inside so they're not flying around when you open it. And that's kind of nice. So you could probably fit a bunch of them in here if you really wanted to. And last but not least, we also have the new Honnell storage bag. Again, mesh, so it's actually a little stronger. Um, you have a clip, so you can clip it to your bag and whatnot. Rope as well. Um, so these are some of the new Honnell products. Um, I'm about to shoot with the um, softbox, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Um, get it ready, and you will see. So here we go. We have the um, Nikon D700, the 24 to 70 lens, and right on top I have the SB900 with the new Traveler 8 softbox. Um, and I'm going to photograph um, just to see the quality of light that comes out of the softbox some of my camera collection which I have this camera and tripod so this video camera so I apologize for the weird angle but um, I have on this shelf a bunch of cameras um, and some other things that I collect um, and the pictures the results you'll see on the blog post uh, are what I'm taking right now but if you I'm going to mount this actually aimed right there and you will see the light coming, flashing. Um, I don't know if it's going to do anything. I won't know until I put this on the computer. However, you'll see the quality of light that comes out of this. Um, the camera is set to uh, 1 250th of a second, f2.8. The SB900 is at 132 power um, at ISO 100. And um, that's about it. So you will see. Um, Let's take a look. So the first two shots were at the 250th of a second. I'm going to stop down to f4.5 and see how it looks. Nice. There's a um, WPPI sign in the back of the shelf, which you'll see in the photo. And you're actually seeing the highlights all blown out um, in the photo even at 4.5, but everything else is very nicely lit. So I'm going to close up a little more to 6.3, and now to F10, and still you can see in the WPPI sign, you'll see the highlights, um, but in everything else, the light is pretty, pretty good. Um, the softbox, you'll, you'll actually see on the, on the black shelf, 
in the photo that the softbox, it, where, where it's aiming, that it's not spreading out too far. It is spreading out, but it, you will see it's more defined in one select area. So um, now I have showed you, I've introduced some of the new HODL tools, and you have seen what the softbox is doing, at least for these cameras. Once I have a chance to bring it out into the field um, and test it on a person, um, I will do just that. But for now, I hope you enjoy. And oh, let me get this in there. Here's my Think Tank Urban Disguise with a bunch of cool buttons on it. Um, I love Helvetica. I hate Helvetica. Yes, that's from the movie. Um, anyway, so there you go. There you have it. And thanks for watching. It's time to stop your thing.